Hello guys! Welcome to Filipino Icor Kunitan. Ngayon, isa na naman pag-aralan natin on how we're going to measure the dry and the liquid ingredients. So, we start. So, ito na guys ang ating kailangan sa pag-measure ng dry and liquid ingredients. So, kailangan natin ng measuring cup, measuring spoon, and the liquid measuring cup or so known as measuring cup also. So, Tara na guys, simulan na natin. So, ito na guys, ang ating flour, bread flour ang gamitin natin. Tuturuan kayo paano pag-measure ng flour. Okay? Ito yung mga maling paraan na lagi natin ginagamit sa pag-measure ng flour. Okay, mali yan. Hindi, this is not the correct on how we're going to measure the flour. But instead, or another one is, we're going to measure and then we're going to shake. Hindi rin tama. How we're going to measure that one? The flour. Okay. This is how we're going to measure. We're going to use some shovel or spoon. Pupunin na natin yan. And then, tama ba ginawa ko? No. Mali din. So, this is the proper way on how we're going to measure the flour or any dry ingredients. So, shovel that one by the using of the spoon. And then, Level off by the use of the straight spatula or offset, you can use that one, or you can have also the edges of the knife. Okay, so again, guys, on how we're going to measure the dry ingredients. Okay. Sometimes in the recipe, you can see the sifted flour. So what we're going to do is we're going to sift first the flour before we are going to measure. So, that's it. So we're going to sift first and then we're going to measure. After sifted, and then that's the time that we're going to measure the the Okay, for one cup. So look, there's a lump. Okay, so we can push that one. So that's it. And after that, we are going to measure the sifted flour okay so this is already sifted flour that's the time that we're going to measure with the use of the shovel same process thing here with the use of the straight spatula and that's it this is the sift this is the sifted flour okay guys i have here the sugar how are we going to measure the sugar same process of the sugar either light brown sugar together with the granulated sugar we're going to put that one We are, going to, we are going to level off. So that's it guys. So now guys, I have here the brown sugar. So what we're going to do for the brown sugar. Okay. So first, we're going to put some brown sugar here. Just enough. And then we are going to pack it into the measuring cup just enough to hold the shape okay just enough to hold the shape and then the set time that we're going to level off so this will be on how we're going to measure the brown sugar 
Okay. So here the powdered sugar. How we're going to measure the powdered sugar or the confectionery sugar. So we are going to use the shifter. Then we so that we are going to remove the lumps. Okay. So after measuring that one lightly, we are going to put that one into the measuring cup with the use of the spoon or show bowl. Almost the same process that we have in our flour, okay? So we are going to get some spoon to measure it in our cup this our this is one eight possible if we need one eight cup of powdered sugar and then we are not going to shake the cup okay we are not going to shake the cup so we are going to level up so that's it I'm going to measure the powder sugar so guys I have already here the baking soda so how we're going to measure possible on um, this small amount of the baking soda is we are using the baking powder baking soda the salt other spices so we're just only using a spoon okay depends upon the recipe that you have and then we are going to show about that one by the use of your spoon if you don't have any show bowl and then level off this is now we're going to, to measure so we're done Guys, I have here the margarine. So how we're going to measure the margarine. So we're going to put some. We're going to use a spoon also. And then we are same process with the with the dark brown sugar. Okay, we are going to fill the measuring cup. And then full puck firmly into the measuring cup and then that's a, the that's a time that we're going to use the edge of the or your spoon okay so that's it so we're going to remove the excess so we're done okay So I have already here the glucose syrup. So how we're going to measure the glucose syrup? So I have here the brush together with the cup. What we're going to do is we're going to brush first some oil that I'm using corn oil. So possible you can use other brand that is for the commercial. So we're going to brush that one inside the cup so that it can be easily remove what syrup that we're going to put on that cup so ganyan lang guys So, ganyan lang guys, pupunin lang natin, and then we are going to level that one, kahit huwag ka nang gumamit ng straight spatula or any kinds of spatula that you have. So, some old sample there is that we have the corn syrup, the honey, yan yung mga malalagkit, molasses, yun, yung mga mahirap nating in sa paglalagay ng ingredients. So we'll be here now guys how we're going to measure the water or in the milk or any kinds of liquid I'm using the mesh the liquid measuring cup. So tignan nyo. Um, I'm going to measure the one for one cup only 
ayun yung one cup so that's it so napakasimple lang guys kung paano pag measure ng liquid so kailangan pantay lang siya okay So, yun lang guys. Napakasimple lang paano mag-measure ng liquid ingredients. Mga milk, oil, sa mga liquid na gagamitin natin. Rum, and so on. So, we're done. So, yun guys. Isang araw na naman at natapos ngayon. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Filipino Oil Coffee in Time para ba mas marami pang mga videos nyo subscribe na at manotify kayo lagi and always click the like below